And I actually ended up having complete organ failure because I was training naturally. One of the doctors actually said to me at one point when they were telling me that I wouldn't live more than two more months, one doctor says to me, you know, you would have been better off just taking mild cycles. Hey everyone, my name is Adam. I'm just your average run-of-the-mill 42-year-old man with six kids, four companies that I own and operate, and try not to run into the ground. I've died twice, once by complete internal organ failure, and second by getting hit by one of my construction dump trucks in the frontal lobe, cracking my skull and bruising my brain. Um, I've also come close to dying many times before that. I've been shot at, I've been jumped, beaten, been in gang fights, I've been knifed uh, twice, and I grew up poor. Uh, I lived in poverty and um, broken home, uh, deal with addictions, uh, I'm sure there's plenty more because I know we all have our demons in our closets and we just don't want to open the closet and have everything spill out. Well, so here's the thing. I'm going to open my closet, let it all spill out right in front of all of you. You ready for it? I am. So just 16 weeks ago, I had a spinal fusion. I've been putting this spinal fusion off for 18 years. I've needed it since 2003. My initial injury was a deadlifting injury. I had trained very heavy to put on weight. I'm a very, very hard gaining ectomorph. I mean, you may know some ectomorphs, but I am the ectomorph's ectomorph, literally. So I was training very hard, eating 6,000 calories a day to bulk up, and I actually ended up having complete organ failure. One of the doctors actually said to me at one point when they were telling me that I wouldn't live more than two more months, one doctor says to me, you know, you would have been better off just taking mild cycles. That's not exactly what you want to hear after training very hard, very heavy, uh, and, and doing it naturally. Doing it the right way. Doing it the uh, healthy way. Doing it the uh, genetic way. I was blasting my genetic potential. And I did. I felt great for being natural. I worked hard to be strong. One of my peak exercises was the deadlift. I had been deadlifting heavy on the ground for years at that point. Then I went to go visit a friend. They had a deadlifting and rowing platform. I stepped onto the platform. I was warming up with like 115 pounds, just doing a stiff legged dead. And I actually overextended or hyperextended and blew my L4, L5 disc completely out. Like, in one movement, it was gone. It was basically just mostly out of the vertebrae and just a little bit, tiny little bit back still in the vertebrae. It hurt like a mother effer and I went down to the ground in a fetal position and literally couldn't move because it was pushing on so many nerves. Well, so for the next year or two, I ended up battling um, an internal organ failure. Now, they may be related, but we don't know because remember the back and the gut are completely intertwined with one another because they are opposing from one another. So when you suffer back injuries, you suffer stomach injuries. When you suffer stomach injuries, you, a lot of times your back will hurt. And I was dealing with both. Blown disc, nerves were so impinged it hurt all the time down my legs and my stomach was a mess and I ended up pretty much dying. At one point I had like five or six colonoscopies in one month. Yeah, that was, that was gross. That was terrible. That was a nightmare. And it was a terrible time in my life. I hit rock bottom. I, I became depressed. I had anxiety. I was a mess. And I was dying. They told me I was dying. And I believed it. Until the day when I didn't. And that's a whole other story, actually. But here I am, many years later. So fast forward to today. I have six kids. I've been married for 15 years. I have four companies. I'm very, very active. I have ADHD. I've been living with ADHD my entire life, so I meditate and do yoga every day. That's how I have dealt with it my whole life. I've never been medicated for my ADHD. I also have a brain injury from when I got hit by one of my dump trucks. The back end of the tailgate uh, broke free. The whole tailgate, 500 pounds of steel, was, was free floating, cracked me right in the skull, bruised my brain. So it did affect me a bit. And, and many of the doctors that I had seen said that I would probably suffer a lot of uh, side effects, uh, permanent side effects for the rest of my life if I was not a vegetable. That was about six years ago now. Here we are. So where am I today? Well, I just had my spinal fusion. 
That spinal fusion that I had been putting off for so long because I couldn't find the right surgeon, I also never met anyone who felt good about their spinal fusion. Until recently, I decided to have the spinal fusion, found the great doctor, a great neurosurgeon at the University of Penn in Philadelphia. They cut me open and 16 weeks later, I feel great. I don't feel perfect, but I feel great. Unfortunately, because I put my spinal fusion off for 18 years, there's a lot of nerve damage down my legs. A lot of damage that, that probably can't be reversed. But, okay, so where does that put me today? And how does this concern you? And why are you gonna wanna join me for this journey? Well, at 42, and with the severe ailments that I've, I've incurred, and the surgery, and the stress, and the anxiety, and the schedule, and, and everything else, I guess, how am I gonna achieve my goals now? Because my goals are different. But I do wanna get back into modeling as a fitness model. I do a lot of coaching and mentoring already. I work with a lot of recovering addicts. And I try to teach them life skills, especially within the construction and uh, landscape trades. And I try to uh, replace these addictions with, uh, with bodybuilding. And so I do work very closely within the industry and I deal with a lot of people who are on a lot of PEDs. Remember, PED is uh, performance enhancing drugs. Now, there are a lot of different kinds. There's a lot of different categories. There's a lot of different things and methods. Now, like I said, I've only ever dealt with TEST and in TRT mostly and small doses of DECA. Now, even that alone really helped my physique when I was eating clean, eating the right way, eating healthy and pushing the training as much as I could. But remember, because of my ailments and my injuries, I couldn't push it very hard and I couldn't even lift legs. So that sucked. So what does that mean for today? Well, now, my goal is different. Essentially, I want to look like Frank Zane, right there. To me, that's the idea of perfection. That, to me, is just perfect. That is ideal. How am I going to do it? You're going to help me. You're going to tell me what to do. You're going to tell me what to take. I'm going to take it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to document it. You're going to see before, after, and during. And I'm going to notate and journal. I'm very OCD, I'm ADHD, brain injury, so I'm very particular and very specific in the regiments that I do, okay? I am very aware, I have hypersensitivity and hyper-awareness of everything around me. And so that really allows me to pay attention physiologically to my body, to the changes, to my mind. I also deal with a lot of other things that you guys have gone through, addictions, depression, anxiety, I've been through it all, okay? And I want to I want to find ways to help you all understand the truth. Not the fake natty, the truth. I want you to know the truth. Because I am so sick and tired of watching video after video after video on YouTube of these different gurus and coaches and experts and everybody coming in here telling you bullshit. Feeding you bullshit. Because that's what it is. And these young kids coming out there in the prime of their life, uh, coming in here with the perfect opportunity, they don't have to move out of the house, they don't have to have a job, and they get to build this platform, and it's smart, I get it, it's smart. They're using an opportunity, but they're telling you how to get to there, how they got to there, but they're not giving you the whole story. They're not giving you the full picture. That's dishonest. And that leads people astray. And I know many people that I have worked with and coached who actually go downhill even further because they watch some of these people on YouTube and they think to themselves, oh, well, he so-and-so did this and so I can do that. I'm going to look like that because I looked like there before. But they're not telling you the biggest part of that picture, which what are they enhanced with? Yeah, the diet's great. Yeah, the training's great. But enhancement changes everything. And that's what we're going to get to. That's the closet that's going to be opened up and it's going to be transparent. Because ultimately, you're going to know that after everything I've been through and am still going through, if I can do this, then you can do this. And more importantly, you're going to know how I did it so you can know how you can do it. Because that's where the transparency needs to happen. And I'm going to give it to you. So stick around. Uh, check out some of the other videos I've already posted up here. There's going to be a lot coming. I mean a lot. Because remember, I've been doing this. I've been training for 25 years. And I went from being the skinniest kid. The skinniest kid. 5 foot 10, 120 pounds as I graduated high school. The skinniest kid. 
to going places and being admired, getting compliments about my build, about my shoulders and my arms, and feeling great and feeling good and knowing that I looked good, and also making money, modeling, acting, doing music with the build that I worked hard for. So how can you obtain and attain that same thing with the truth? You can't do it without the truth. So now this will be your way to get the truth. So join me, all right? I'm Adam, thanks for watching.